This week's Thomas Index Report is sponsored by Republic Locomotive, a Thomas verified manufacturer and server provider of new and rebuilt industrial locomotives and yard switchers. Welcome to the Thomas Index Report for the week of June 15th. As a quick reminder, before we start today's index report, you can find all of our COVID-19 resources and register your industrial business as a COVID-19 response supplier by visiting thomasnet.com slash COVID-19. This week, we're tracking sourcing activity for railroad equipment. On the thomasnet.com platform, sourcing activity for railroad equipment is up 153% year over year and 91% over Q1 averages. This positive sourcing trend is hopefully a harbinger of increasing rail traffic and imminent growth across the sector. Hit by weather issues, supply chain challenges, and the global pandemic, the rail industry, both on the passenger transport and shipping sides of the sector, has had a very difficult year so far in 2020. As COVID-19 began to spread across the United States, state leaders encouraged residents to stay home, therefore reducing use of local passenger railways. New York City subway ridership, as an example, was down 92% in April due to citywide quarantine measures. The Association of American Railroads also said it saw a continuation of annual declines last month with shipping rail car loads down 27% year over year. These loads account for products like coal, motor vehicle parts, and metals. That said, May figures were slightly higher than those earlier in the year during the height of COVID-19. So the association says it is hopeful that the industry is beginning its upswing. With the U.S. railroad industry showing initial signs of recovery, the Canadian railroad industry announced earlier this month that its overall numbers were up significantly, easing concerns across the sector. The Canadian National Railway said it moved record-setting loads of grain in May, 20% more than the three-year average and echoing record hauls in March and April. I'm Tony Uphoff, and this is the Thomas Index Report.